I'm Helen Musselwhite and I'm a paper sculpture illustrator. We're going on a road trip to see our papers made. I make images from cut paper. I needed to find something that I could use as a medium. I was looking to do something a little more with the paper, making images that have layers so people can kind of look into it and think, oh, I'd like to get into there. Early on, I was influenced by the British countryside. That has definitely carried through. Owls were a big thing. Foxes, they're another big thing. Uh, I like houses, little houses. And I realised that when I was little, I was really, really intrigued by model villages. It took me maybe more than 40 years to realise that that really went in deep and it kind of like, it percolated for all that time. And then it came out through my work. My process normally starts with very quick thumbnails. You know, you just seem to be able to get composition kind of right without thinking about it too much. When I've done a thumbnail, I blow a few of them up to get them to a bigger size and work into them and kind of get more detail going. And it just gets kind of built up, so layer by layer. So it's quite a laborious kind of process. I'd describe my style as colourful. It's intricate. More is more. Earl is our chocolate Labrador. He gets a hat on his birthday. It started off as a really simple hat, but each year it's got more and more complicated. He hates it. There are lots of other um, ways of producing an image that looks like it's made from paper but if you look at them, they are perfect, whereas mine isn't completely perfect because I'm using paper. I just think that gives it the human touch. You can see me in the artwork. You look at it and there's something of me in it because I've actually made it, I've toiled over it. And sometimes there literally is something of me because I might have cut myself, so I've kind of signed it with my DNA.